In today's world, technology isn't just changing the game, it's rewriting the rules. And as creatives, we are at the forefront of this revolution. In this video, I'm diving into five groundbreaking technological advances that are reshaping the creative industry as we know it. So if you're a graphic designer, 3D artist, illustrator, photographer, filmmaker, or any creative professional, you wouldn't want to miss this. Let's explore how these technological marvels are unlocking a new horizon of creativity. Now first on the list, and I'm pretty sure you guessed it, is AI. If you are not using AI tools every day of your life, you're making a huge mistake. We have two choices when it comes to AI, but now AI is everywhere. AI's future existential risk. The most eye-catching stories in the world of artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence. Honestly, AI has been mind blown for the past year and a half or so. And we're not talking about robots taking over our work or the world. Oh, that might be cool and scary at the same time. We are talking about AI totally flipping the script on how we create. It's like having this really super smart, awesome sidekick that's not only throwing around wild ideas and creative ones, but also helping you craft your own unique and personalized ideas. In my personal workflow, I've been playing around with a lot of AI tools and some of my favorite ones are Midjourney, a text to image based AI platform. And I'm really doing some cool things out there. It's like mixing paint on a digital canvas and seeing what picture it throws out. All you have to do is type in what you want to create and the AI puts together in its own perspective a representation of what you just typed. Sometimes the results are amazing, other times they are mind blowing, and most times you just can't believe what you're seeing. And it does it so fast. Next on the list is Adobe Generative Fill. This thing has been a lifesaver for me. Imagine if you need to change a scene or add something new to an image or a video, Adobe's got your back. It fills in the blank like magic. It's like having a magic wand and quickly just whoop, changing everything that you can think of. I use it pretty much everywhere. Now when it comes to scripting, planning, organizing, reviewing, chatgbt has got your back. It's like having a super smart friend who is good at writing scripts and helping you sort out your workflow. It makes my process very easy and honestly it's a lot more fun. Even crafting all the script for the 31 day contest challenge I'm having, I use ChatGPT to help me run through these very seamlessly. And to be honest, it's made it so much easier to make 31 days of content every single day. Now, to be honest, these are just a tip of the iceberg. The AI world is huge and it's waiting for you to dive in, to play around. There are a bunch of stuff out there and I'll just hope that you can get the time to explore and I bet there's something out there that will fit your style. There are tools for photographers, tools for illustrators, tools for web developers, tools for sound engineers. Heck, there's tools for everybody. Now, next on the list is virtual reality and augmented reality. Talking about AR and VR, seriously, these things are like stepping into a sci-fi movie, period. But it's real and it's right here. Virtual reality and augmented reality are totally changing the game in how we dive into the digital world. It's not just looking at a screen anymore. It's like you're jumping right into it. Think about it. If you're a designer or a filmmaker, this is epic stuff. You've got this incredible new playground that's all about immersing your audience in your creation. Imagine a graphic design or a film where people don't just see your work, they step into it, walk around in it and interact with it. It's like hello world, but quite literally this time. Today, brands have already started using these tools. Creators online are using tools like Luma to recreate immersive experiences for creative purposes. People are capturing and recreating spaces in 3D, even using their mobile phones. Augmented reality is already in retail and shopping. Brands like IKEA allow shoppers and customers to visualize how furniture and products will look like and fit in their own homes before buying. VR is also in real estate and architecture. Agents and architects are using VR to give clients virtual tours of properties and architectural designs. Their technology is also allowing clients to walk through buildings or spaces that really don't exist yet, providing a very realistic sense of place. AR and VR has a whole lot of other uses. If you're a lover of Snapchat, all the filters are an example of that particular use case. Here in Ghana, my good friends at Line AR are using augmented reality to do some pretty sick stuff so you can check them out. I'll put the link in the description below. Let's shift gears into something a bit more tactile. 
3D printing, though it's been around for a while, gone are the days where it was only spoken about for making prototypes. Now we are seeing artists and designers totally embrace printing and let me tell you, they are creating some mind-blowing stuff. So picture this, designs that used to live only in your imaginations or on your screen are now popping up in real life. We are talking intricate sculptures, wild fashion pieces, even custom furniture that looks like it's from the future. It's like whatever wild, crazy idea you've got, 3D printing says, yeah, let's make it work. Designers like Iris Van Herpen's 3D printed dresses that are making waves in the fashion industry, Neri Osman's material ecology pushing boundaries of art and engineering, 3D printed homes that are completely printed from scratch using 3D. There's an account on Instagram that I really love because I'm a plant person where the owner creates these little cute 3D printed flower pots and just places them on the wall. If I ever get a 3D printer, I think those are the first things I'm going to try out because it's so cool. Very soon, most people will be like Iron Man, imagine and printing out all the ideas right from their home. It's just crazy. Now let's jump into something that is seriously rewriting the creative process. That is high resolution digital imaging. This isn't just about pretty pictures. No, 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 no. It's about capturing the world in jaw dropping details. We are talking about clarity so sharp, every pixel tells a story. For all you photographers and filmmakers out there, living in today's world is like an absolute dream. Today you could be snapping a photo or shooting a scene and every tiny detail is there, crisp, clear and vibrant. It's like giving your audience a magnifying glass to see every texture, every color nuance, every emotion in ultra high definition. From mobile camera technology, even the playing field and photography and filmmaking, from mirrorless and digital cameras, putting the power of cinema cameras in the palm of your hands for a fraction of the price to drones capturing insane detail from 3,000 feet high above the clouds. We have it way too good and way too easy in this generation. And this is not even the peak of it. Crazy. Now fifth on the list is cloud-based collaboration tools. We're going to wrap it up with this, but it's also my favorite bit of the new age technological tools because it's really reshaped how I work. Now, cloud-based technology is really shaping how creators work together, right? We are talking about a whole new level of teamwork and creativity, no matter where you are in the world. So working on a project and your team is spread out across different countries. In the old days, this would be a logistical nightmare. And now with cloud-based tools, it's like you are in the same room working. You can share ideas, edit, brainstorm, give feedback in real time, hand your collective ideas into something amazing and making everybody's job easy. In my own workflow, there are two cloud-based technologies in my toolkit. First on the list is Notion. This tool is like a Swiss army knife of organization and collaboration. It's where my ideas take shape, get structured and become plans. From jotting down quick thoughts to managing complex projects, Notion's flexible platform allows me to change and maneuver around very difficult points. Because of Notion's flexibility, it means everything can be in one place, easily accessible and beautifully organized. Although sometimes I like to make it look a little bit messy, its capabilities go beyond my limits. It's like having a digital workspace that's as creative and fluid as your own thought process. And the second tool is Frame.io from Adobe. Anybody in the filmmaking industry knows this is a game changer. Imagine shooting and then uploading content on Frame, where your team and clients, no matter where they are in the world, can jump in. They can give real-time feedback, make annotations, give suggested edits. It's like having a virtual editing room where everyone can contribute, discuss, and perfect the content. No more endless back and forth emails or confusing comment threads. It streamlines the whole video review process, making it more collaborative, efficient, and honestly, way more fun. Now, these five technologies I just mentioned are the tip of the iceberg, but they are already making waves in the creative industry. As creators, it's our job to stay ahead of the curve and harness these creative advancements and turn them into something extraordinary. If you like the content so far, don't forget to like and click the subscribe button so you don't miss out on the rest of this content-packed month. I'll be back tomorrow with more insights in this 31 days of content challenge. Let's make it a month of incredible learning and creativity. See you in the next video.